And we knew that was going to go on for quite some time, those after effects. And certainly, you know, even months later, we're still yeah. talking about it for yeah. sure. Any relief coming to California weather-wise? Uh, not much. Maybe Northern California, but not like the San Francisco Bay Area. So we're talking about yeah. probably, you know, up toward the Cascades. But hopefully eventually we get some of those uh, storms mm -hmm. to move a little bit farther to the south. That's what we certainly need. Uh, warmer this morning, 70 our morning low. Keep in mind, we were in the 50s yesterday, and average low this time of year is 59, 20s up in Arizona's high country. Time lapse, we started running this at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Let's take a look at it. You can see some of those clouds building up. And then as we make our way into about the 5 o'clock hour, there it is. That sun getting awfully low in the skies takes us live just to about 518 now on your Wednesday evening. All right, let's go to tomorrow's forecast tonight. 94 tomorrow in Tucson, so not much relief for us. Upper 80 Santa Cruz County. The mountains at about 70 degrees, 87 Cochise County with nighttime lows. Tonight warm again, I think mid-60s ought to do it. And a lot of that will depend on the winds that have been escalated at times today. 94, last check at the airport, 43 is a dew point. West winds at 13 miles per hour. 90, Marana, 91, Sabino Canyon. It's currently 93 in Vail. So grab a part of town. You're likely in the low 90s, 80s for most of Cochise County and Santa Cruz County, 82, for example, in Sonoida. Plan for tonight then looks like this. One more hour with those daytime highs in the 90s. And then we'll look at those Highs coming down to the 80s and then ultimately into the 70s as we approach the 10, 11 o'clock hour. So once again, milder tonight than last night. Wind's still up a little bit. We go to the east side of town, 13 miles per hour, DM 16, 18 at Ryan Field. So with winds in this sort of range, temperatures just don't cool down as uh, readily as they would if we had lighter winds. Clear skies tomorrow, sunny, 90s again. So not much relief for our Thursday. Here's low pressure up in the Pacific Northwest. This is what I was saying could help California, but it looks like it's going to just stay to the southern part of Oregon and extreme northern California. High pressure, on the other hand, going to build in across sections of our area, and that's going to just mean more warm temperatures really all the next seven days, but at least those nighttime lows will be more on the comfortable side. All right, forecasting for tonight. Mid-60s for lows, sunny and warm tomorrow. Again, with those daytime highs into the mid-90s. Upper 40s tonight in Wilcox. That feels fall like I'd say. 58 Douglas with your daytime highs into the 80s. Seven-day forecast, really not changing too much. Between 92 and 95 degrees, really all the next seven days with mostly sunny skies. Nighttime lows anywhere from about 57 uh, after tonight, 67, between 57 and 62. So that does represent at least uh, more seasonable nighttime lows. But those daytime highs still running about 8 to 10 degrees above uh, average for this time. <laughs> We're stuck in a rut. We are. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get over it eventually. <laughs> they don't want to go